welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Erica. Thank you so much for clicking on my video. I would love to have you subscribe, like, comment, and if you're returning, welcome back. Thank you so much for being here. So today's video, I'm finally filming the Makeup Queens Challenge. Yes, I am. Now, I did not intend to uh, squeak this in at the end of the month, but I did have all of my videos planned for the month of March, and it's really hard for me to film like more than about twice a week, and I just could not figure out a way to squeak this one in. But I'm finally here, and I'm doing it. Now, Lorraine Johnson Coleman, she leads this group on Instagram, and she asked me to host for the month of March. <laughs> I could not believe it. I was so excited, so ecstatic. I think I literally shrieked and levitated when I got the uh, DM from her saying, hey, do you want to host the month of March? I was like, what? I was so happy, so honored, and so blessed to be able to do this. Now, the idea behind the Makeup Queens is that Lorraine chooses a host, and then our job is to pick a picture that inspires us. And then those of us that want to take part in the challenge, we get to create a look based on the color story within the image that the host has chosen. So this is the picture that I chose. Now, these are Sweet William flowers, and I love these flowers. They're one of my favorite flowers of all time. These grew wild in my backyard when I was a little girl and when I was about four or five I would sneak out into the backyard early in the morning and I would pick a bouquet of these flowers for my mom and I would bring them into her and she would put them in a little jelly jar full of water on the kitchen windowsill and she would just go on and on about how beautiful the flowers were and how sweet I was for picking them for her and it's one of my favorite memories that I have of my mom. Now my mom passed away almost six years ago and I don't know it's just something that I always think of and I just try treasure those memories. And I actually have a Sweet William tattooed on the inside of my lower left calf for my mom. So I've decided that I need to use three palettes for this look. Uh, I know that might seem a little extra, but I just didn't really have a palette in my collection that had all of the elements that I was looking for to create this look. Now I thought I would stick to the Sweet theme, the Sweet William theme uh, in my palette selection. So the first one is the Sweet Pinks from Juvia's Place. And of course, this is the pink element of the look. I am definitely going to be using this matte here and probably one of these two to blend that out. Definitely one of the pink shimmers. I love this little palette and I have not used this in forever. So I was really excited to be able to pull it out and use it in my look. Now for the green element, I will be using the BH Cosmetics Sweet Shop Pistachio Palette. This is my favorite green palette. I love it. And I definitely want to use this darker green matte called Koner Cup. Definitely want to use one of these uh, lighter mattes as well to blend that out. And then one of these, maybe two of these shimmers, I haven't decided yet. But this is such a gorgeous palette. And this one I haven't used in a very long time either. So I'm just ecstatic to use it again. And then there was one shade in particular that I really wanted to use for this look. And that comes out of the Evolution Palette from Queen Nubia Cosmetics. And it's this shade right here. It's this gorgeous kind of duochrome pink to gold flip. You're not going to be able to see it in my camera. It's got this really pretty white base to it. And I just thought as an inner corner shade, it would be perfection. And then I thought I would just kind of chat with you guys while I create my look about my mom. She was one of the funniest people I have ever met in my life. And I just want to share some funny stories with you guys, some weird things that she would say, quirky, weird things that she would do. I just thought you guys might get a little kick out of that. So if you guys are interested to see my look come together for the Makeup Queens Challenge using the Sweet Pinks palette from Juvia's Place, the BH Cosmetics Sweet Shop Pistachio palette, and the Evolution palette from Queen Nubia Cosmetics to go along with my Sweet William Flowered theme, then please sit back, relax, and let's get started. All right, let's get started with this look for my Makeup Queens Challenge video. And of course, I will be using the Sweet William Flowers picture as my theme. And I'm gonna start off with this palette here. This is the Sweet Pinks from Juvia's Place. And of course, my eyelid is primed in the Queen Nubia Cosmetics eyeshadow base. My brow is done, and I do have some concealer under my eye. So I'm gonna start off with this shade here, this kind of like medium pink uh, matte, and I'm gonna put that towards the front part of my transition area. And I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about my mom. My mom was hysterical. She was so funny. She was really quirky and just kind of had this really bizarre sense of humor that like, I don't know that most people would get unless you were around her all the time. Um, and she also was very sarcastic and kind of had like dry humor too. So she was just kind of a mix of humorous stuff. And I just thoroughly enjoyed being around her. And she made us laugh constantly. Now, I have lived in the same town for the majority of my life. And the downtown uh, of the city that I live in is just really dorky. It's like there's tons of one way. So you kind of have to like go down one street and then like go up and kind of backtrack to get to where you want to go. It just drives me nuts. And I have kind of a, I don't know, method to my madness when I'm driving around downtown. And I kind of have like a route to get to certain places. And 
honestly, it probably takes me longer than the average bear to get to where I want to go, but it's just the route that I take. And my mom would always say, well, if you didn't have to go around Robinson's barn every time we went somewhere, we'd get there on time. And I'm like, who the hell is Robinson? <laughs> I'm like, do they really have a barn? And she never answered that. So I don't know who Robinson was. I don't think there ever really was a Robinson. I just think it was something dorky that she would say that she thought was really funny. And it was, it was hilarious. And this is just a beautiful pink mat. I love it. It's very pigmented. It goes down very nicely. And I just love it. And I am going to blend that out a little bit with a lighter pink mat here in a minute. But I just kind of wanted to get going on the look and just kind of, you know, get the shadows placed where I want them. And then we'll do some finessing as we go. Now I'm going to go into the BH Cosmetics Sweet Shop Pistachio Palette. And I'm going to go into this dark matte right here. This is called Koner Cup. I'm going to put that down towards the outer V and then up into my transition area to kind of meet that pink shade. Now, another thing that my mom used to do that would crack us up, and I have no idea where she got this from, but if somebody asked my mom how she was, her answer was always, I'm fair to Midland. <laughs> I'm like, what the hell is fair to Midland? We thought that was so weird. And my mom grew up in Oregon. Her parents were from Nebraska. So I don't know where she came up with that, but we were always just like, fair to Midland, mom? Really? That's what you're gonna say when someone asks you how you are? <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna try to make this a little bit softer where the two meet each other. And then I will be going over that with a different mat to kind of like tone that down a little bit. But I just, like I said, wanted to make uh, the shape of the eye look, get the shadows placed, and then we'll uh, we'll play with those a little bit, make them look a little bit more uh, blended out and diffused, I guess. All right, now I'm going to go into a different brush. I'm going to use my BH Cosmetics brush that I always use. And I think I'm going to go into this shade here. This is called Guilty Pleasure. I'm going to blend that dark green matte out with this baby. Um, something else my mom used to always do is that she would get really flustered sometimes. Like, uh, she hated to vacuum the house, just hated it. She had like a love hate relationship with the vacuum cleaner. Uh, the vacuum cleaner would always fall over and she'd just get so pissed and sweaty and like, <laughs> just drove her nuts. It was so funny. And she'd always say, Lord love a duck when she would get really irritated with something or really like exasperated. And we had a dog growing up. Uh, we got her when I was like 14, a uh, little Lhasa Apso named Lacey. And she was so adorable. And she would just get wild and run around the house just like a lunatic. And my mom would say, Lacey, love a duck. And we'd be like, okay, mom, whatever. Uh, so weird. And then I can remember one time when my kids were like, oh, probably like in middle school. Uh, we weren't living there anymore. We lived there for a while when uh, my kids were little. And at this point we had moved into our own place to live, but we'd gone over there to eat dinner. Now I'm gonna go into this shade here, this kind of lighter pink matte. Let me grab a brush for that. And my kids had called me during the day, uh, the same day that we were having dinner that night at my mom and dad's house. And they had told me the story about this airplane that had almost crashed like on the runway, like the landing gear had not come down and uh, nobody was hurt or anything, but it was like really scary. And uh, so when I got over there to have dinner that night, uh, the kids were like, mom, mom, you gotta watch the news. You gotta see what happened. This is just crazy. And I'm like, okay. So as we're like getting our plates dished up and everything, uh, we're watching the news and here it comes, this story about this plane that had almost crashed on the runway. And my mom goes, yeah, there they are, bouncing down the runway. And I'm like, mother, somebody could have been killed. And she's like, well, they're fine. I'm like, okay. So my kids and I, anytime we're having kind of like, you know, a rough spot in our life or things aren't going exactly as planned, they'll always say, here we are, bouncing down the runway. <laughs> and this is getting a little muddy right there, but I'm just going to kind of let it be muddy. You know, I'm going to add some shimmer. I think it's going to be okay. Um... I don't know, greens and pinks are kind of weird together, and I did know that uh, going into this, but you know, it's just gonna be as good as it's gonna get. Now I wanna go into some shimmers here, and I think what I'm gonna do, oh, I think I'm gonna go into Treat and put that down towards the outer part of the lid. And my mom taught eighth grade, um, and I actually was at the same school that she was at when she was teaching. And she was never really my teacher. But what they would do is they would split the eighth grade. Oh, God, that's so gorgeous. They would split the eighth grade into two parts in the morning, like for first and second period. So half of us would go to either band or choir, and the other half would go to PE. And because there were so many kids, uh, the PE teacher would ask two other teachers, like in eighth grade, to come and help out. And so my mom got asked to help out quite a bit. And she wouldn't really, like, teach us any, like, physical education or anything. She basically would just, like, let us run around the gym and, like, play basketball or volleyball. And at the end of every class, uh, she'd blow the whistle and she'd say, Okay, kids, grab your balls and bring them over here. And, of course, all the eighth grade boys were like, oh, Your mom just said balls. And I would always say, Mom, can you please not do that? That is so embarrassing. And she's like, It's funny. And I'm like, Yeah, I know, but it's embarrassing. So quit saying balls. 
I mean, of course, that's not what she meant, but of course, you know, eighth grade boys, I mean, you say the word balls and, you know, where their head is every time. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the pink shima, and I'm going to go into, I think I'm going to go into that one right there. It's just kind of like a nice, soft pink. I thought that would look really nice. And my kids would ask my mom um, if they could go to the bathroom, like during class, they'd walk up and say, can I go to the bathroom? And she'd say, would you? And they're like, well, can I? And she'd say, would you? Like, it was just the weirdest thing. I have no idea why my mom would always say, would you? And I would like see kids like at break, like at recess or lunch. And they're like, I asked your mom if I go to the bathroom. And you know what she said? I'm like, she said, would you? And they're like, yeah, what's up with that? I'm like, I have no idea. I mean, they would end up going to the bathroom, of course. But I don't know where the would you thing came from. It was so weird. And then my mom loved to embarrass me. Loved it. And when I was growing up, whenever we would go shopping for new clothes, like, you know, when she'd take me school clothes shopping or whatever, we'd go to a town called Salem, which is actually the capital of Oregon. And there would be this guy in the mall playing the piano every single time we would go shopping. And my mother would dance around, like tap dance. She'd do this thing called shuffle off to Buffalo. <laughs> oh my God. And she would sing opera really loudly. Uh, and, you know, I was like in seventh, eighth grade, you know, 12, 13 into high school. And she would do this every freaking time we would go shopping. And I was like, mother, can you please not do that? It would just drive me nuts. And she had this grocery store walk where she would walk on her tiptoes and like wiggle her butt back and forth like this. And she'd get this like look on her face like this. And she would, you know, grocery shop like that. I'm like, mother, can you not please? I like how this looks, but I do want something a little bit more vibrant right there. So I think what I'm going to do is go into this shade here, this shade called Sweet Life, just with my finger. I'm going to put that down just kind of like right in between the pink and the green. I thought that would look kind of cool. I'm just kind of tap that in, just kind of mush that in with my finger. Uh, my mother was terrified of garden slugs, just your average garden slug. I don't know why, but they would just absolutely terrify her. And when I was about, I don't know, seven or eight, she thought it would be really fun for us to pull our mattresses out uh, onto the deck in the backyard and spend the night out there. Great. So we did that. It was fine. Wonderful. It was really hot, you know, summertime, really hot outside. So it was just kind of nice. We didn't have air conditioning. Nice, cool breeze, you know, in the middle of the night. And as soon as the sun rose, my mom wakes me up shrieking at the top of her lungs that there is a slug on her pillowcase. And oh my God, everybody grab your stuff and run back in the house. And I'm like, it's a slug, mother. Who cares? I do want to put a little bit more of this Kona cup shade down in the outer corner here and just kind of make that look a little bit deeper. Uh, I kind of felt like I lost a little bit of that when I put the shimmer down. My mom would also make up the weirdest nicknames for my kids. Uh, Sydney and Brayden are my children. And she would call them uh, Frank and Steve, Frick and Frack, the Yahoos. She would call them my little pig droppings because, of course, we love the movie Annie. Uh, Miss Hannigan was played by Carol Burnett, and that was like my mom's idol was Carol Burnett. So my mom would call them her little pig droppings. I am going to blend that green shade out just a hair. I think actually I might go into the soft serve shape and uh, just kind of add a little bit more lighter green down out there. I thought that would look kind of nice. Um, and then also my son, you know, uh, he went through the terrible twos. And so my mom would call him Hank the Tank. And she'd be like, Hank, can we please have Brayden back? Can you go away and let Brayden come back? I know Brayden's in there somewhere. And Brayden would be like, I am not Hank. It was like, oh God, mother, you're not making anything any better here, my friend. I'm telling you. Now let's do the lower lash line. I'm going to use the ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in the shade Icebreaker, of course, and my waterline. And one of the things I miss the most about my mom are the things that she would cook. She was such a good cook. And I've tried to cook the same things that she made when she was alive, and they just don't taste anywhere near the same. They just don't. Now I'm going to go back into the Sweet Shop palette to do the lower lash line. I think I'm going to put this shade down here called Guilty Pleasure across the entire lower lash line. And my mom would make like the most delicious macaroni salad, uh, potato salad, uh, homemade macaroni and cheese. And every time she would make a batch of that and she would love it, you know, she always just thought it was so delicious because it was, she would say, I love this so much I could rub it in my hair. And so that's something that the kids and I always say too, is we really love something and we'll say, oh, I could just rub that in my hair. I've actually said that about my eyeshadow palettes. Um, I have yet to do that, but there are several eyeshadow palettes that I have that I would love to rub in my hair. And then when my mom was a kid, they were just complete weirdos. She had an older brother. He was like four or five years older than she was. And then they had like, I don't know, four or five cousins that were like around the same age. Well, closer to my mom's age and like a little bit younger than my mom. So my mom's brother was like the ringleader of all of the weird stuff that they would do. 
and they would play this game called Under the Bed, The Robbers Are Coming. And basically what would happen is that they'd all be playing in the bedroom and my uncle would get the right idea to scream, under the bed, the robbers are coming. And he'd run over and shut the lights off. And my mom and all of her cousins would slam underneath these like cast iron beds that my mom and her brother had. And one time my mom bashed into her cousin's face with the top of her head and her cousin's teeth went through her bottom lip, just straight through her own bottom lip. It was awful. Now I think I'm gonna use a Koner cup towards the outer part of the lower lash line there. Um, and then they also play this game called Roly Poly Jump a Stick. <laughs> and I asked my mom, like, what was that? And she's like, honestly, I don't have any idea. I don't remember what we did. I don't remember what that entailed. I have no idea. And I'm like, okay. And they would sing these weird songs, like, up and down the street. And I don't know, every time she and her cousins would get together when they were adults, they would sing these bizarre songs. I mean, like, just absolute gibberish. It was so weird. And now I definitely want to go back into the Sweet Pinks palette. And I think what I'm going to do, I want to put something like really vibrant towards the front part of the lower lash line. I think I'm actually going to this shade here. And let me grab my little lipstick brush for that. And I'm going to spray this, of course. Um, my mom would also do this weird thing when I was growing up where she would pretend, this was right after my parents got a divorce. And I mean, you know, she was kind of, well, she wasn't kind of, she was really struggling. So she tried to make it like, make us have fun as much as we possibly could. And so she would pretend that our car was a semi truck and she would double clutch, which basically meant that she'd slam on the brakes and then slam on the gas and then slam on the brakes and slam on the gas. Like we'd be doing this down like major streets in our city. And I would just howl with laughter. It was so much fun. And then I would beg her every time we got in the car. I'm like, mom, can we please double clutch? <laughs> and like she'd do it with my friends in the car too. It was just great. They were like, your mom's the best. It's a miracle that we never got pulled over or that uh, none of us flew through the windshield. But, uh, you know, we were in seatbelts. <laughs> and I really like this pink uh, shimmer because it's kind of like, I don't know, maybe like a little bit of duochrome to it too. It's kind of got a little bit of gold in it, I think. It's really pretty. And, you know, this is kind of a different look. Um, I don't think I would have ever done this, anything like this before, but I do like it. I think it's really pretty. And I do think I did a pretty decent job of sticking to the color story that was in the image that I chose. Now I'm going to go into the Evolution palette from Queen Nubia Cosmetics. I'm going to grab uh, this shade right here, this beautiful duochrome shade. Let me grab my inner corner brush for that. And she was so funny with my kids. Like, I can remember when Brayden was like, I don't know, two or three years old, um, Oh, that is so pretty. I knew I was going to love that. It's kind of like goldish pink with a white base to it. Mm -hmm. I love it. Uh, she would like tell him, if you really love Mimi, that's what they called my mom was Mimi. If you really love Mimi, you'll carry me upstairs. You'll carry me to bed. And he'd be like, okay, Mimi. Okay. He was like, you know, like I said, two or three. And he'd walk up to her. She'd be sitting like on her little chair out in the family room that she always sat in at night to like watch the news and stuff. And, um, He'd walk up to her and she'd turn him around and she would like try to put her legs like on his waist, like around his waist and she'd hold onto his shoulders and she'd say, okay, you're going to give me a piggyback ride. Now go. <laughs> he would try so hard to pick her up. And of course he couldn't, you know, and I mean, she wasn't like hurting him or anything. She wasn't like making him, like she wasn't putting any body weight on him. But it's just so funny because here's this little three-year-old trying to pick up this grown woman and we would just howl with laughter. And then he would start laughing. I don't know. It was just so cute. I just, you know, those, those, are the things I love to remember. The kids and I just love to sit and talk about all these funny things. And, uh, you know, like one time uh, my son had a uh, Incredibles themed uh, birthday party and my mom like wore a pair of the like Incredibles goggles like the entire night over her glasses. <laughs> it was just great. She just was awesome. I just, man, I wish you guys could have met my mom. You would have loved her. Absolutely loved her. She was just hilarious. And, uh, yeah, I just love talking about her, thinking about her, and I hope you guys really enjoyed listening to these goofy stories about my mom. All right, I think I'm pretty much done with my look. I think I'm going to like maybe just clean some stuff up here because I do have a lot of fallout on my face, got a lot of shimmery fallout, but I really like this look. I think it's really pretty. It's very different, but I do think, like I said, I stuck with the color scheme of the image that I chose. That's what I was going for here. So I will go off camera. I'm going to do the other eye, do the rest of my face makeup, and I will come back and show you how everything came together. So don't move a muscle. 
I'm back. This is the finished look. I really like how it turned out. I don't know that I've ever done like a pink and green look exactly like this before. I do think I kind of muddied them up a little bit where they meet in the center, but you know, I do like how it turned out. And I think for this challenge, the Makeup Queens challenge and the Sweet William picture that I chose, I do think I stuck to the color story pretty darn well. So let's go over the palettes that I used. I used the BH Cosmetics Sweet Shop Pistachio palette for the green element of the look. And I'm telling you, this is my favorite green palette. It is so gorgeous. The shimmers and the mattes, it's amazing. I think this is BH Cosmetics' best formula that they have ever come up with. And I know that Makeup Revolution has now bought out BH Cosmetics. And I think they would be really stupid. I mean, just idiotic uh, times a thousand if they were to scrap this formula recipe. Like, uh, please don't do that. I'm really hoping that they don't. I love this palette. I'm so glad that I have it. And then the Sweet Pinks by Juvia's Place. I love this palette too, and I haven't used this a lot. Now, I don't love pinks on my lower lash line. I know I've said that. Uh, uh, you guys are like, yeah, we get it. But I do love the quality of these mattes and these shimmers. The shimmer right here that I use towards the front part of the lower lash line, I'm kind of thinking maybe I should have put that on my lid instead. <laughs> I do really like this one too. It's kind of a softer, more toned down pink shimmer. But you know, if you're going to go all in, you should just go all in. And I wish I had used this on the lid, but I didn't. I used it on the lower lash line. I like it. I think it's very pretty, but this is a gorgeous little palette. If you don't have this, I highly recommend getting this baby. And then for my inner corner shade, I used the Evolution palette from Queen Nubia Cosmetics. And I knew I was going to love this shade. I knew it. It's this one right here. It's so gorgeous. It's like kind of like pink and gold. It's got this really pretty white base to it. It just pops on the inner corner. I love it. I know that my camera is not doing it justice right now, but I'm so glad that I pulled this out and I use that shade from inner corner because I just love it. And I love this palette. It is gorgeous. I wanted to go over a few other things that I used in my finished look with you guys quickly. For my eyeliner, I used the Rimmel Scandalize Micro Precision Eyeliner in the shade black. This is one of my favorite felt tip black liners. I just love it. For my mascara, I used the Berry M feature length mascara that my beautiful friend Linda from Instagram sent me from Sweden. Love this mascara. It's so beautiful. It makes your lashes look longer and thicker and that's always what I want, always. And this does not disappoint. And then for my lips, I use this Lime Crime liquid lipstick. I think it's either in the shade number 10 or number 18. <laughs> I need to get a magnifying glass. Even with my glasses on, I just cannot read this. It's like teeny tiny print. I love this liquid lipstick stuff, not your basic stuff. She sent this to me. I love using it. I just thought this would be the perfect pink shade to go with the eye look. Um, I was going to use a green lipstick, but I don't know. I just saw this in my drawer. And I was like, ooh, you need to use that because I really like the formula. I love the color. It's beautiful. Steph, thank you so much for sending this to me. I love this lipstick. And wow, I got to host the Makeup Queens Challenge for the month of March. Oh, this was so amazing. And I just really wanted to pick something that reminded me of my mom. And Sweet William flowers definitely do that. Uh, like I said in the very beginning, I used to go out and pick those flowers for her in the mornings when I was a little girl. And I don't know, I just saw that picture and I thought, ooh, I really want to see uh, what people will do in creating a look uh, based on this color story. And there have been some amazing, and I mean amazing looks that people have created uh, with this color story using this picture as their theme or their inspiration. I'm going to have all of their videos linked in my description box. Several of my friends on here have done the most wonderful videos. Very touching to me, very moving. Um, I think I've cried in every single one that I've watched. <laughs> I just am so blessed to have so many wonderful, amazing friends. And I wanted to say thank you to Lorraine Johnson Coleman, of course, the leader of the group that asked me to host this challenge this month. Lorraine, thank you so much. This was such an honor and such a blessing. And I'm just so very thankful that you asked me to do this. Thank you. And I really hoped you guys enjoyed hearing all about my mom's quirky, bizarre sense of humor. She was just so funny. I miss her sense of humor so much. And I hope that if you guys are out driving around, it's taking you maybe a little bit longer than you wanted it to, you might say, hey, we're just taking a little trip around Robinson's Barn here. Or if you're having a rough time, you know, you can always say, I'm just bouncing down the runway. And if you ever eat something that you really love, I hope you say, oh, I love this so much, I could rub it in my hair. I know my mom would love that. Thank you guys so much for taking time out of your busy day or evening to sit down and watch my video. It always means the world to me. If you have subscribed, you would like to subscribe, do not forget to hit the notification bell. That way you're aware of all of my future uploads. I cannot wait to see you guys again in my next video, but in the meantime, please take care of yourself, be well, safe, happy, and I cannot wait to see you guys again soon. Thanks again, you guys. Take care. Bye.